Hi, is there something that I could help you with? Well, yes, I think I want to try to grow roses and I never have before. Yeah, well you can grow roses here in Colorado. They take a little more care than your perennials, but not much. Not much, because I've seen people with beautiful roses, but gosh, um, I don't even know where to begin. Do they need sun or shade? Roses like a lot of sun, okay, and they do need special fertilizer to keep those blooms coming that you enjoy. Fertilizer, like yes. some kind of food I give them. Mm -hmm. And we recommend that you use the bare fertilizer. Okay, it has the nutrients that your rose needs uh -huh. in order to get the beautiful blooms okay. and the green foliage. And it also has a systemic quality in it that helps prevent diseases and insects. This will feed them and keep the bugs off of my roses? It really makes your job easier. How often do I have to use that? About every six weeks. Okay, yeah. so you definitely recommend. So maybe I I'll do. start off with, so I'll do this. And okay. Now with roses, they're gonna come back year after year, right? Well, they do need certain care each season. Okay. You know? um, in the late winter, early spring, you will cut your canes back to the green. The canes, is that what? That's the woody stem part. Oh, okay, so I cut that there. back, okay. And then when the blooms start coming up and the foliage starts coming out, that's the first time you fertilize. Okay, okay. And then when your first buds pop open, you fertilize again. Okay. And then you'll wait six weeks before you fertilize anymore. And you make sure that you have about six to eight gallons of water a week. Oh, so a lot of water. But it's on the ground mm -hmm. and deep soaked. So I don't spray them? It's best not to. Okay, okay. Yes. And then come winter, do I cover them? What do I do in the winter? Well, to get them ready for winter, what you want to do is get the rose collar and you put it around the rose and you fill it with BOSS, our bioorganic soil supplement. Oh, okay. And that helps it over winter. It'll keep the roots from freezing and then you'll have your rose bush come back And I again. just take that off in the spring in and spring. start that whole process over. Ready to go. All right, well, now I love the roses that smell really good. That's kind of what I'm going for is the good oh, smell. Okay. So would, what kind of rose is this right here? Well, these are the tea roses, but I think that you would like the shrub roses. You can come this way and I'll show you. Great, awesome, thank you. For more great ideas and expert tips, come by any one of our 30 Tools locations in Lakewood, Littleton, and Westminster.